This is Tony Park. I'm currently working for the Hanguk University of Foreign Study. Let's get the uh, presentation started. Okay, let's begin the presentation with a quick and easy quiz here. We are using the numbers here. What comes to your mind? What comes to, to your mind? It's difficult, right? So I'll give another trick. Uh, let's make some space between numbers. And then, do you know what these numbers mean? Uh, it's the ranking of the Grand National Team and the years in which the mega sporting event will held. I know it sounds somewhat silly uh, to make a uh, uh, ranking based on the medal you, you've got, but if you could, you should know that Korea has been making outstanding results uh, in international sporting event. It means that Korea is a truly strong uh, sport nation. So in other words, uh, Korea's competitiveness in sports becomes over and beyond Asia. It is moving toward the world's best quality. For example, Korea ranked fifth in the 2012 Summer Olympic Games and second in the 2010 uh, Asian Games. As you can see on the screen, the overall graph of both Summer and Winter Olympic Games has been making upward movement. Okay, here's one more quiz. Okay, who knows what this uh, number means? Who knows what these numbers mean? Difficult as well. Yeah, this is the number of international sporting events that Korea has held so far. Okay, in more detail, Korea has 93 international sporting events only in 2010. I mean, 93. Okay, so it is just one year. 93 international sporting events. In other words, considerable size of the territory of uh, Korea and the uh, economic scale. Um, Korea has made many achievements in hosting mega sporting events.